The items you're looking at here are from a website called banggood.com. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. Kind of the name kind of sounds like a Asian brothel, but it's actually a uh, more like an amazon.com of China. These are some items that I thought would make some interesting videos. And when I found this stuff on the website, I was immediately intrigued and, and thought, well, this would make a great, some great detailed videos because a lot of us that got started in electronics uh, years ago started with little kits like this. And of course, the Radio Shack thing with all the little springs that you put the wire under in the books and that. And these are a little bit more advanced, but I'm going to go over these real quick. And um, of course, you've all seen me work on little cheap radios like this. You know, uh, these were a dime a dozen in the, back in the day. And essentially, this one here is actually branded Admiral, but if you open it up, it's the same thing. And essentially, these these two here are the same. This is a AM radio with two IF stages. This is an AM radio with one IF stage. This here is an AM FM radio that uses an integrated circuit. I believe it's surface mount. So that should be interesting to try and solder with the tools I have. This um, is a, I think it's a 40 watt HF amp uh, for ham use. And the reason why I selected this was I have one of those little backpacker HF ham radios that I think is four or five watts output. And I thought this would be great. And I was kind of looking at it through the packaging here and I noticed that there's no uh, schematic or anything and it's got a lot of surface mount stuff. Uh, these are some high powered LED chips and I've been using these in some of my underground mine exploring videos. This is cool white 100 watt. This is what they call full spectrum which I have a feeling might be purplish and that one is warm white. So I wanted to try these out and see if they survived. Let's let the airplane go by. Now that I've lost my train of thought. So what I'll do is I'll post links in the description of the video below to these items. So let's take a quick look at this. And this is the 2IF stage version of this. This is the 1IF stage. So of course this has a schematic. Hi, this is a clarification video about the uh, radios that I'm going to post, uh, post a uh, construction video on. Now, that those radios were a joint project between me and Shango 066. He's known uh, on YouTube in this name. My friend in the United States, uh, Dan Yahro. Uh, and on Facebook as Boxy, this is his uh, name on Facebook and uh, in the end of July he approached me in the idea that he is going to send me a couple of AM radios, 3 volt AM, the red ones from uh, United States to here to Syria um, and he called me by phone that and said that uh, a company called uh, Banggood uh, they uh, contacted him and sent him a uh, couple of radios to be built by him as sort of franchise um, on August 3 at 5 o'clock he uh, contacted me again and uh, 
we talked uh, and I asked him to send a couple of items with those radios and uh, he couldn't for some reason then um, we uh, we talked about the uh, the possibility of uh, building those radios here in Syria and I agreed to help him as a friend now uh, radios uh, I am they are no longer popular here in our region because there is uh, not too many stations they are uh, broadcasting in our region in amplitude modulation or AM broadcast band um, there is uh, BBC in Arabic there is Monte Carlo um, from uh, France. There is uh, Sawa uh, radio from Washington, which is in Arabic and in English. And a couple of others, you can receive them in the night. Uh, okay, um, and... He wanted to send them directly from uh, United States to Syria, but because of the sanctions, uh, he couldn't. So I offered him to send uh, to send them to Lebanon, and this is uh, the uh, exact uh, 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 conversation that uh, we talk about these radios. He. Uh, as you can see here, he took a look at the shipping department and there is an embargo on Syria. I said to him, okay, hold it on, weld it, so it can be shipped anywhere in Syria, shipping companies. You can talk. I asked, I asked him to talk by phone. He didn't. He wanted uh, in writing. They asked about shipping. Uh, uh, the cost to Lebanon were $178. I said to him, good, I'm going to pay them um, anyway, uh, but he, uh, but the, co uh, the shipping cost was too high, so he dumped the, the project. Uh, I approached him, I was, in this time, I was uh, 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 in a deal between me and my friend, who is an importer here uh, in our region. Um, I was going to uh, import some of uh, test equipment to my own uh, f facility, uh, building facility. So I uh, uh, I asked him uh, if he uh, could import uh, those type of radios from Banggood or uh, other companies, and he said yes. Uh, so I told Dan about this uh, project, and he agreed. Uh, and I called him and told him specifically, now where is the audio with as, uh, as I say, uh, I asked him and this is the, uh, the radios that, uh, uh, that he uh, posted uh, a two hour video on and uh, I'm going uh, to post uh, mine mind soon uh, about uh, the construction of them uh, he uh, he agreed it and then uh, I agree and told him that was uh, the entire project was his baby and I'm going to help him uh, And he said yes. Now all of this conversation was at August nine at seven at August nine. Doesn't uh, it, it doesn't matter the uh, the time, but uh, the uh, the months is important. At now we all know when you import things from other countries or from outside of any country 
the shipping will take time. But for some reason, he dumped the entire project after uh, late of uh, where we put it. Where was it? Now this is an entire at August 21. There were clips in United States in that time and he was viewing it. He's a friend of mine, so okay. It was his after I posted that video. Okay. And this one. I guess it is uh, in September that Uh, he asked me about this radios and I told him it, they were in shipping so uh, he asked Morning, me to man. yeah you have no idea how busy I am and that's to call you tomorrow uh, he told me by surprise uh, that he was uh, in September 18 that he was going to a lot of stress and he's going to bump a bunch of uh, uh, videos on YouTube and uh, they are going to be the red one mm. so what I did call him I asked him to be... Now I'm po making this video just to show that uh, those radios came by his orders. I'm not uh, asking, him, asking him for any money. I don't care about the money. They came uh, uh, in, uh, in a part of uh, a big shipment that came to me. I imported them at my own expense. This is my Dan Boxy Dan. Messenger As we can see he is still my friend and I hope that uh, We will continue to be friends This is uh, yesterday As I said and sent him a like a postcard bought on Facebook for uh, 2008 may God bring him and to all of us a happy new year and Merry Christmas to all um, and just to be certain that this is a his profile this is him this is his, his last uh, picture with his friend they are playing they are using the Technica Audio Technica um, turntable and this is the last video that he posted about the uh, part ident identifier, the Mega, the the these kind of of units. They came in a lot of different brands and name, but they are basically the same. And uh, I bought uh, one in the same shipment. Um, like I will demonstrate in a uh, future video so and I recommend it to him 
because uh, they work fine. And like he said, they just That is his profile. So he is my friend. And I hope from all my heart that he will continue to be a friend of mine. But as I said, and as I will say in the other part of the video, this is only a clar clarification video about a deal between me and him and that's all that's a festival picture that was the previous picture that I made the coming scene in the this video about Here is the two radios in question. They came in this box, sealed it with this um, paper tape with the serial part that came from the dealer, which my friend bring those two to me uh, this radios came with a schematic with a listed part and the plastic casing or the enclosure like this is the one the first one as for the type of plastic, it's very good, not like the low-cost low um, Chinese radios they are in the market. This is very firm plastic, they are strong. Let's open the, the enclosure or the case, as we can see. This type of speakers, I'm going to do a teardown for speakers in this kind because China over the past 15 years produces all kind of speakers in the same basket size. Some of them are made of plastic, some of them the comb is made of paper, some of them the, the comb is made of uh, uh, also plastic and the basket also with a uh, low grade of uh, magnet. And But this is a very good type of speaker. I like this kind because it has a long uh, life and it sounds re relatively good. Here are the parts that came with it, a variable, the IF cans, the uh, ferrite coil, the tuner dial, dialer, and what else, let's see, where is the, the ferrite rod, here is the ferrite rod, so basically it's all here, all what you need to make a good radio.
Now, and this is the plastic indicator, dial indicator, and the PCB. Those type of PCB that I mentioned, I mentioned in early videos, those are low grade, but in this case, as all Chinese product, they are built for a price. So, but I expect this kind of PCB is more reliable than the one uh, it is found in the early mixer that I posted a video on. You can watch that as well. This is an indicator, but this is in the sealed bag. I don't know why it came like this. Okay, this is schematic. Here's the schematic. It's all written in Chinese. This is the X108-2. Here's the entire schematic of, of it. Mm -hmm. Output transformer transistors first audio output transformer the cans capacitor the variable with the adjusted adjust capacitor those two the diodes to make a uh, power drop across this 220 ohm resistors resistor the one the 100 micro farad capacitor those two capacitors are the Two hundred twenty-three picofarad. It's um, relatively about hmm, twenty-two nanofarad because the last digit you have to uh, turn it into zeros in order to calculate that, this value in nanofarad. So it's all here. All here. This is the radio, and this is the harbor or the uh, channel, uh, the frequency indicator. This is the look at the PCB from the solder mask on the side. Goes right here and explain to you how each one of these uh, uh, lines is connected to the uh, PCB and where it's the soldering point. Uh, all the resistors with the part number and the value of it is it's all here. This is the pin out of the transistor and it is all here and this is and a table that explain what one in the uh, English refers to this symbol in Chinese, which is one is brown. This is this symbol is brown in Chinese. Red is two, and this is the symbol of two or red in Chinese, and as follows: orange, yellow green, blue, um, violent, gray, and white. And this is black. 
and this is the tolerance of all of this gold is usually using a 5% error 10% error uh, it's silver and that is the silver and that is the symbol of silver in Chinese uh, this is a very simple kit for starting in, the, in electronics now as I mentioned in the early video I don't care about uh, radios, AM radios because not a lot of many stations are still broadcasting in AM the, uh, the, there is about four or five maybe according to the area the, that you are in the studios as they can still be usable and in the pre previous years as I started in electronics I built a lot of uh, AM radios and FM radios from scratch by reverse engineering and existing existed um, circuit that I took it from uh, uh, Japanese radios and even Chinese radios in order to modify a cer certain circuit or a certain set so this is this is not a really a much of a challenge to me but what I am going to do is this I'm going to build this radio and align it there is two ways to align it uh, by using a um, a working radio so you can align the station and the reception uh, the reception of the station according to a working radio and the other uh, uh, way is using a four four hundred fifty five kilohertz uh, uh, tone to align all those IF cans with the tuner capacitors the multiple parts in the following videos I don't know how many parts it's, there will there will be but uh, I'm guessing the first video will be just a, a simple shot in this video and regarding the build of this one and a comparison between those parts and those parts and the original uh, high high class parts and comparing the the quality of uh, this uh, ferrite coil with the quality of uh, uh, high class Japanese uh, fer uh, ferrite coil, the antenna coil, and this is the other one. This is the same one. Here is the PC board and the harbor, the indicator harbor. It's upside down, so it's plasticky. And this is the PCB itself. It's all colored, you can't miss anything, it's easy to build and I hope you like this video. 
A fine message to my friend Dan. You always, I look up to you. I always look up to you as a friend. And I wish that you have a Merry Christmas. You and all your friends and loved ones. And a Happy New Year. The only thing that puzzled me that when I downloaded the first scenes from your first video when you put the radios, the red and the blue and the silver one with the LED and the transmitter bag on this side you refer to our project as multicultural project and when I downloaded this video the same video from the net I, I found those scenes are deleted or re-edited why did you do this? I don't know. And I never asked you uh, about this, this point in Messenger. Uh, you're still my friend and you will always be my friend and, and a big brother. And the reason why did you do this? That only for you to answer you I believe you edited those uh, scenes in the last month after I got those two items and the other items and uh, after you put posted the build of the 1IF stage, the blue one. Uh, I believe you sent it. And you never told me why. You, uh, or told me why uh, that you deleted those scenes from your uh, from your video, the first one, and the two-hour video, the next one, that regarding the build. You said clearly in the second one that you are going to post, uh, to send me those radios, but because of the sanction, the sanction you couldn't. Why did you delete it? This section, I don't know. And that is up to you. That's your yours videos. I have no interest. In. I always, when you post a new video, I watch it and I support you. I don't make a, any indecent comment about any video that you did. And I care about you a lot. So, this is, as I said, a multiple, this is the other one. This is real stuck. It's hard to do it with one hand. Wow. Oh, whoa. Mm. Nice. This is the same as this one. So this is only a, cl a clarification video regarding those two radios. We are the there will be many parts, as I said. I don't know how many 
ones and I'm going to use the same schematic and just do IF I'm going to replicate them and build them build an exact one but with a different PCB which with much bigger sound stage instead of this this is going to have a probably a bigger speaker and a higher amp in the build from scratch unit that I'm going to build but the entire this section over here the entire section will be the same and I hope that you like my videos the same that you like all the videos since I got those videos they, those two radios I'm going to, to build them it's a shame that they are still or still in the disassembly case and not to be built so over the years I built multiple radios including AM, FM circuit and I modified the entire unit as I said previously and this case or those two items there will will not be much more different than than that than those I hope you like this video and more to come later this is the clarification video that uh, as I said and there will be multiple parts regarding the evaluation of uh, of uh, those parts in the construction and the way to build and, and replicate an existing IF cans and building your own ferrite core and calculating the number of turns and all of that so thank you for watching uh, and uh, I wish to all our my viewers a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a private message to you Dan as a friend and as a big brother regarding what you did and uh, deleting those scenes from your videos and I'm apologizing for uh, uh, taking up to three minutes of the original build uh, or uh, demonstration video uh, to be linked at the first of this video this video is multi-part but it's only for demonstration only I don't want to take any uh, notification and I'm going to send you a copy of this video after I pull it apart and assemble it in the air uh, in the uh, video editor and send you a uh, send you a link to your uh, Facebook page and to your messenger And I wish you all the good luck, my friend. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.